Hey, do you want to know about my personal life? Cause you're kind of weird, well you're just in love. Because today it's an extra low quality video by the way. We're gonna be doing a Q and A. So I just asked a bunch of friends um, questions, I don't know. Uh, I might do another Q and A. Comment any questions, I bet this won't get any questions. Honestly, I only have like 100 subscribers. Um, just ask questions in the comment below. And um, now let's finally get to the Q and A. So I got two similar questions, so I'm gonna answer them in both one. Uh, why did you start YouTube? And what's your OG inspiration for making videos? Um, why did I start making videos? One is because uh, a bunch of my friends at school were doing it. Um, check them out. I'm pretty sure only two of my friends made a YouTube channel that are actually like trying to make videos. And my OG inspiration is Casey Neistat. If you go back to my old videos, Please don't. The, I tried copying the editing style of Casey Neistat. That's how I kind of like branched off my own kind of editing style. Um, what is your favorite color? Dark blue. And if we're being picky here, um, I like royal blue. It's like mm, royal blue. It's a dark color. It's a dark blue. That's what it is. But it looks really cool. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Right now, uh, honestly... It probably has to be rice gum because, you know, fellow yellow connection. <laughs> I got in trouble for saying that. <laughs> what are tips for people that are just um, starting out to make videos? Um, I feel like you want to take your time in editing, but you don't want to take too long in editing. Because you're just starting out, you obviously want to uh do good editing so people recognize your editing style and um it's quality content um would you rather live without your phone or your camera um if i live without a phone i have a computer if i live without my camera i have my phone which has a camera in it so honestly I'd probably live without my phone i don't even use it much anyways what are your dream ca cameras? Uh, cameras. I said cameras because he put an S at the end. And um, I feel like having multiple cameras for different situations is nice to have. Like a G7X or a G5X for vlogging. Another vlogging is the A6500 with an external monitor and a microphone on the side. Um, I already have my dream dream camera, my all-around Canon ADD. Uh, when the 10D line, I don't know what to call it, the two-digit number D line gets 4K, that's definitely gonna be my dream camera. But I already have my dream camera, it's a Canon ADD. I feel like my dream blends would be the Tokina 11 to 20 2.8. Um, but if Canon made like a 10 to 22 2.8, I would definitely try to get that. And since we're talking about cameras, I'm gonna do next week uh, what's in my camera bag. Cause I have uh, a lot of stuff in there. I take photos of photography. And then I'm probably gonna do like a dollar store um, haul. Cause I feel like a dollar store haul is something that you do when you're broke. But do you like your name? If not, what would you change it to? Oh, I, I like my name. It's pretty cool. What's your favorite movie? It's like rated R. It's fist fight, it's a comedy, it's pretty funny. Um, what's your five food? I don't have a five food, but I have a favorite food. I like seafood, uh, lobsters, crawdads, cocktail shrimp. Sushi counts as seafood, right? Since it's like seafood, sushi. You have seaweed, sea, raw fish, fish, oh, okay. Do you like Oregon or Michigan more? Okay, the backstory to that question is, um, I live in Oregon. I was born in Michigan. Personally, I, I, I like Michigan more. The snow days are like, you can build like igloos and stuff. It was pretty fun. How long have you been living in Oregon? Since like the summer? No. I've been I've been here for like a year. Yeah, I've been here for like a year. Okay, 
what is your five state? Once again, I don't have a five state, but I have a favorite state. California, I kinda wanna get into like the whole industry of like entertainment and like acting. Or uh, since I like cameras, I wouldn't mind going into the film industry. Um, have you always had the wavy hair? This wavy hair? No, I've only, I've had it. I started doing like a weavy hair to like get the hair out of my face since like fourth grade. Since I have like really long hair and I refuse, like I don't like to cut it. And then I put it up to like get on my face because it gets annoying when it gets in my face. Since when did you become a Red Sox fan? I am not a Red Sox fan, I'm a Redskins fan. Um, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Uh. Since when? Since I was born in Michigan, the quarterback of the Redskins, Kirk Cousins, went to Michigan State, so wherever Kirk Cousins goes, uh, I'm a fan of that team. If he goes to the Browns, I'm a Browns fan, and I'm probably gonna get flamed for it. What's your favorite shoe brand right now? It's Adidas. Uh, thanks to my friend Bridger, I actually have a lock of, a, a loot of um, sample pairs. I have like three NMDs and one EQTs. I'll actually bring them. This is one of the shoes. I really like this one. This is an R1. Um, it has like a wool upper. It's really odd, but it's it's a really nice shoe. It's an R1. It's not flat out there. It's like uh, it's wool, as I said. Um, it's also like it's also reflective too. Okay, this one is kind of whack. It's an R2. If you'd focus in. The white is kind of being overexposed, but it's a plain white. It's like it looks pink. It's like a salmon or a red, but with the white, it looks pretty pink. Um, it has a regular insole. It's R2. It's an EQT. Um, this kid, this fits with like a lot of outfits of like khaki pants. You know the the trendy, <laughs> but. You know, I don't wear them. I kind of wear trendy clothes on like special occasions, but I personally just like shoes. I do a bunch of resale, and this one is really nice. I, um, I don't know. I really wish this was a bait collab, um, but it's this one. It's like a, it's a green. It's an olive green. It's actually really really nice. And the back tab, it has a camel print. That's why, and in the insole. That's why I'm like, is it a Bape collab? I'm honestly really confused. If this is a Bape collab, resale on this is like hotcakes when it releases to the public. And by the way, it's an R2. So I guess I kind of got like two videos in one video. That was kind of like a minor sneaker collection, but uh, what's my favorite sneaker brand? Adidas, so I showed you a bunch of my Adidas pairs. Um, I'm waiting for those to re like, I'm waiting for those to retail so I might be able to resell them. If they don't have any resale market, I'm probably just gonna wear them. But they're fire though. Like, peace out, everybody. I'm gonna go to bed now.